important. Now uh, let's auto start everything. Now you can see once this thing is done, we will be able to navigate ourselves to the next screen. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing to you how you can perform fade transition in your Flutter application. Now, if you have seen the previous videos, we have completed the following animations. That is a slight transition, right? But in today's video, I'll be showing to you how you can implement fade transition with the help of basic animation techniques without using any package. Now, make sure you have seen the previous videos because in the previous videos, I have shown to you how you can uh, perform slide transition and also how you can manage the offsets of the side transition. Right, so here I'll be creating a new view. So uh, let's say fade transition dot view dot dart. Now the basics of fade transition and side transition will be almost the same. So here I'll be creating a new stateless widget and here I'll be calling it a fade transition. Right, let's create a new scaffold here. And here I will be having a background color or something like that. All right, so we don't have a, a pre-basic background color. So I'll simply make the background color of black. So uh, let's have color of black right now when this thing is done what the other step that will be requiring is uh, adding a uh, body and we'll be simply uh, animating our flutter logo so don't worry about that now first of all what I'll do in my uh, fade transition view all right let's make it fade transition view so we won't be confused with the names so in my fade transition view uh, I'll convert this thing into a stateless widget Right, so once this thing is in a stateless widget, the first thing that I'll do is extend this with a single child provider state mixin. Right, now in the previous video, I have shown to you how this will be beneficial for us. But if you don't know, please watch the previous video that will be very helpful for you and me as well. Right, so once this thing is done, or uh, the second thing that I can really do is in my uh, center, I can have a child here to be flutter logo. And we'll be having a size of 200. Right, so now what I'll do, I'll go back and I'll put this as my main uh, view here. Right, so I'll simply run the entire application to our emulator. So let's wait for that. Right, now after this, what I'll do, I'll uh, go in my slide transition view. And in my slide transition view, I'll be, uh, not slide transition, but fade transition. And here, uh, I'll be creating new animation controllers. Right, so first of all, what I'll do, uh, I'll create a final animation controller or animation controller let's call it animation controller and this thing will be having a value of animation control itself right now to make this vsync value of the following ticker here i'll simply make it to the late value right so this thing is done uh, we can move here and here i'll do i'll add a duration here so let's say duration of seconds of four or three and make it constant right now this thing is constant here so the next thing that i can really do is uh, initiate the following animation now in order to initiate the animation you can also use the repeat uh, thing here that is you can make it forward so you don't have to initiate it on the init state method but here i'll show you how we can do that so here i'll be using the init state function and here i'll be simply saying animation controller dot forward right now after this we also need to dispose the animation controller so here i'll say animation controller so let's say animation controller dot dispose easy we are uh, initiating the animation controller so we can add here a forward and after that we are also disposing that so we are making here dispose thing right now after this what i'll do uh, i'll go under my build function and i'll be creating a animator right so here i'll be saying final of animation now the in order to fade the particular thing the, in order to fade the particular animation we need to play with the duration and the duration will be coming in doubles Right, so I'll making it in a format of double. In the case of slide transition, we made it in the form of uh, offset, I guess. So if I go under the slide transition here, yeah, so we made the following animation in terms of offset because we are we are changing the position, but now we just need to change the opacity, right? That is fading from zero to one, right? So what I'll do here, I'll be creating here a fade animator, and this thing will be having a value of a curved animation as usual. Now the parent will be nothing but a fade transition uh, that is animation controller my bad animation controller and we'll be having a curve here so here i'll be having a curve of curves of deaccelerate or anything that, that we need right so when this thing is done what we can do uh, we can make it late for now and here for our flutter logo i'll convert this into a new uh, widget and the widget will be nothing but a fade transition 
right so here let's say fade transition and the opacity will be nothing but a fade animator so fade animator and we'll be requiring a child to be our flutter logo easy now when this thing is done let's press ctrl and s now you can see we are able to okay so we just need to hot start everything so let's hot start everything all right so now we can see whenever we are initiating a new thing here the following application is uh like is the following so now what we can also do is we can say this thing to be in a repeat mode right so i have to start everything you can see this thing will be repeated again and again now what we can also do we can play with the uh, curves here so let's make it this and how to restart everything so the following curve will be changed and also you can play with the seconds here so if i make it one second everything will be done in a one second you can see it will be going up in one second now the optimal use case for using this animation will be in the splash screen for example what i can do uh, instead of flutter logo let's say we have our application here that is app name let's say amazon or something like that also i will be having some textile here so font weight of font weight of bold and color of colors dot white and font size of 30 right so if i have to start everything we will be changing the following thing there but here what i'll do i'll make it three seconds and i'll only make it forward so we don't have to change it uh, from time to time right so now i'll make it forward and if i have to start everything i should be able to get this only one time the amazon right now after this what you can also do is transition the following page to a new screen after let's consider this to be a splash screen so i'll show you how to do that but uh, before that uh, let's make it uh, easy in so we will be having a different animation here so uh, let's consider the following animation of easy in because this is a normal good animation that everyone should have so that's that and let's have a color of yellow for now right so now i'll show you how to transition that thing from one screen to another but in order to do that uh, what we really need to do is uh, create a new screen here so let's say Alright, so just navigate this string to a uh, slight transition page. So what I'll do uh, here in a state when this thing is done. So I can say when complete and when complete, we can navigate to the next screen. So here I'll simply say navigator out of context push. We are not using any modern method here. We'll be simply using a uh, material page root here and the builder will be requiring a uh, context as usual and uh, here i'll be returning your slide transition view i think the view name is different yeah slide transition view itself so let's paste it here right so let's import it and make it constant now uh, let's auto start everything now you can see once this thing is done we'll be able to navigate ourselves to the next screen right so you can do this in the case of uh, splash screens where you can use our simple basic uh, inbuilt animation of fade transition and navigate the entire screen to the next screen with the help of this function right now i hope you have loved this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll be learning more about other type of transitions that is size transition and scale transition till then if you have loved this video please hit that like button and also comment down something good i'll see you in the next one